If you want to study in the UK with a fully funded scholarship in your postgraduate degree as an international student, then this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing with you how you can receive the Gates Cambridge Scholarship, okay? The Gates Cambridge Scholarship is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and it is a fully funded scholarship for individuals to study in the UK, specifically at the University of Cambridge, okay? So I'm going to be sharing everything you need to know about the scholarship. When I say fully funded, it means your tuition is covered, your living expenses, your flights, your health insurance, and every benefit that comes with a fully funded scholarship. I'm going to be taking you guys through the application process, the eligibility requirements, and everything you know that will help you win the Gates Cambridge Scholarship. So if this sounds interesting to you, definitely do keep watching. But before you do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you will not miss any of our new videos. Meanwhile, if you're new here, my name is Skills Skills, and this is the Gates Ahead family. Here we share everything that has to do with study abroad for international students. Let's get right into the video. So like I said, the Gates Cambridge Scholarship sponsors international students for a postgraduate studies in University of Cambridge. So I'm just going to take you guys through everything you need to know. Let's start with the eligibility criteria that is available on the scholarship website. So for the eligibility requirements, you can apply for a Gates Cambridge Scholarship if you are a citizen of any country outside the United Kingdom, okay? That means wherever you are, this one is not a development scholarship, it's not a financial need based scholarship, it is not scholarship for developing countries or scholarship for Africans, Asians, it is scholarship for everybody. Now, applying to pursue one of the following courses, you, you must be applying to study either a PhD full-time or part-time a master's course which is a full-time or one-year postgraduate course full-time uh, at the University of Cambridge so there are some courses that the Gates Cambridge scholarship does not fund such as undergraduate degrees business doctorate degree masters of business MBA masters of finance PGD courses graduate course in medicine part-time degrees other than PhDs non-degree courses at the end of this video, you will check the description box and you would see the link to Gates Cambridge Scholarship where you can confirm all the information that I'm going to share. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to share every single thing that you need, but at least the basics that, that will help you determine if you should go for this scholarship, okay? We have shared the eligibility criteria. Let us go to the criteria for selection, okay? You know what I'm saying. If I want you to study in Cambridge, you must be able to meet the criteria. I'm gonna share it with you. Don't worry, be calming down. Oh yeah, now let's go. The very first criteria here is academic excellence. To be competitive for a Gates Cambridge scholarship, candidates must show evidence of academic excellence through their transcripts, references, experience, and the potential to succeed on the chosen course. You guys understand what I just shared, but I'm going to point out something. They mentioned here that you should also demonstrate academic excellence through your references. What does this mean? This means that one of the requirements for selection for this scholarship is that your reference letter must highlight your academic excellence. So please, when you are requesting the reference, ensure that the referee highlights that part of your academic excellence. You, you understand, we're on the same page now, right? Okay, let's continue. Academic department at the University of Cambridge nominates only the most academically outstanding applicants for a Gates Cambridge scholarship. Why do I feel like this scholarship is proud? Why do I feel like, why, why, why do I feel like that? Anyways, you all watching me right now are exceptional, so go for it, okay? The reason for choice of course is the next criteria. You should be able to make a strong case for a particular postgraduate degree at Cambridge. PhD applicants and most research master's applicants will need to make contact with a potential supervisor with whom they will develop a research project, a summary of which is part of the application. You see, you will need to demonstrate that you have the academic background and the necessary skills and expertise to complete the course, okay? That is very straightforward. You need to be able to demonstrate your suitability for the course and why you're going for the course, which is usually seen through your previous experience and your post-study career plans. Ah! I think I should apply for this scholarship. If you like say I go win. <laughs> oh my God. 
okay okay let's continue a commitment to improving the lives of others is another criteria a defining characteristics of the gates cambridge program is the commitment of our scholars to improving the lives of others we interpret this criterion broadly and applicants define it by themselves providing evidence of their past current and future commitment to the societies in which they will live and work hey guys hey if i want to apply for this scholarship i'm going to provide evidence of this channel that i have been changing you people's lives all of you that are watching me are getting valuable information that's the evidence i'm gonna provide that i've been you know i've been grooming people that have been sharing much needed information and i've helped a lot of applicants to gain admission and also get scholarships in universities that might not be your case and like it is said here the criteria is very broad come in with your peculiar circumstances what is it that you have done in the past what is it that you're currently doing and what are your plans in the future I feel like this is a very merit-based scholarship if you meet all these criteria why not please go for it and fingers crossed you'll be selected okay now the next scholarship requirement or criteria here is the capacity for leadership successful applicants must be able to demonstrate a capacity for leadership which can be expressed in a multitude of ways applicants should provide evidence of their leadership experience to date and indicate the ways in which their leadership skills may have impact in the future careers i've already shared on this channel over and over again what leadership is to scholarship organizations leadership is just not about the positions you held it is about the influence you made using whatever platform you had okay you need not have any um you know titles any leadership titles and all of that that is not what the case is the leadership requirements here is what impact are you making how are you able to influence the decisions of others says here indicate the ways in which their leadership skills may have impact in the future careers so you see that is what leadership is and i think the final requirement here is a note on the ratio of phd and master's award in order to create and sustain a viable scholar community in cambridge university and for scholars to take full advantage of their time in cambridge we aim to select approximately two over three phd scholars each year so that means out of three phd applicants two people will be taken you guys go for this scholarship i read somewhere that they offer up to between 80 and 250 scholarships gate scholarships yeah i told you guys anything that's funded by bill and melinda gates is a win ah go for it okay that is it for the criteria let us go for the timeline of the application application for academic year 2023-2024 entry will open on 15 september 2022 that means the application is already open gates cambridge manages two selection rounds each year full details are below so they have two different deadlines the first deadline is for u.s citizens who are residents in the usa you can be a u.s citizen but if you're not resident in u.s this deadline is not for you this particular deadline is for u.s citizens who are residents in the u.s of a let's go application opens 15 september for everybody but for u.s citizens it closes on wednesday 12 october 2022 and they also gave a breakdown of what is involved and uh, there's departmental ranking that is going to begin from 17 october now let's go to the second deadline which applies to non-us citizens and non-residents in the usa all other eligible applicants the large majority of applicants will apply in this round which is aligned with the university's provided funding competition there are two possible application deadlines and these are based on the course on which you are applying please apply by the graduate funding competition deadline reference in the university course directory so apparently university of cambridge has two different deadlines which depends on your course of choice it says here that you should be able to make this application by that particular deadline so application opens for everybody 15 september application deadline depends on your course either 1st december 2022 or 5th january 2023 now you have to check your course directory to know which deadline applies to your course now the departmental ranking will start between december and february applicants will be notified of their outcome by by friday 3rd march 2022 review and selection by panels march 2023 and scholarship offered 
late March 2023. These dates are set by the University of Cambridge Admission Office and may be subject to change. Please refer to the postgraduate admissions web pages for uh, up to date. Now let's go to how to apply for the scholarship, okay? Oh, there's a video here that shows how to apply in case you want to learn how to apply for the scholarship. Combined application form. Applicants submit the application for admission and funding, okay? So when you apply to University of Cambridge, you will indicate in the application form that you want to be funded for Gates Cambridge Scholarship. To be considered for a Gates Cambridge Scholarship, you must complete the section to apply for admission to a course and a college place and the Gates Cambridge part of the funding section, okay? So there's this funding section dedicated for Gates Cambridge application, so you must be able to complete that section. Gates Cambridge has access to the full application for admission and funding when reviewing applications. So it is two in one. You don't have to apply, uh, you know, submit two separate applications. It is one application that addresses the admission and the scholarship. The admission section. So this is like a breakdown of what the application form is like. The admission section is where you are choosing the course that you want and the college that you want. And in the funding section, you are applying for the Gates Cambridge. Now let's talk about the funding. In this section, you can apply for a range of funding offered by the University of Cambridge. Now when applying for Gates Cambridge scholarship, you will be asked to provide the following Gates Cambridge statement. In the application form, we ask in no more than 3,000 characters, approximately 500 words. Please explain why you are applying for a Gates Cambridge Scholarship and how you meet the four main criteria. Remember that we already discussed the criteria, so they're asking you to explain why you are applying for the scholarship and how you meet those criteria. Now, this is where you freestyle. This is where you bring your best foot forward. This is where you tell your story. Storytelling, guys. This is where you use the star approach. The situation, the task, the action, and the result. This is where you show why you qualify, why you have been able to fulfill all the eligibility requirements, and why you think you're a leader, why you think you're making impact based on your previous experience, okay? including what you're currently doing and what you're going to be doing in the future. The statement is used by Gage Cambridge to help distinguish between those candidates who have been nominated by academic departments. It helps us identify those candidates who, as well as being academically outstanding, possesses a capacity for leadership and commitment to improving the lives of others. What have you done so far that you have considered that has improved the lives of others? That's what they want to see. This is the only part of the application form where applicants are specifically asked about their fit with the Gates Cambridge program. And you should use your background, achievements, experiences, and future aims to show how you specifically meet the program criteria I already said that so yeah they also give details on you know uh, the PhD uh, of course if you're a PhD applicant you have to submit a research proposal obviously you would submit two academic reference for admission and Gates Cambridge would applicants would also arrange for someone to submit a reference setting out how they meet the scholarship criteria so you have two options Okay, you have to submit two reference letters for the admission and you also have to submit another reference uh, for the suitability for the scholarship. This is the question for the reference. They are asking that the referee gives assessment of the applicant's suitability for a Gates Cambridge scholarship and they also ask how highly would you rank the applicants for a Gates Cambridge scholarship? On what level? On what overall group are you basing this ranking? What is the size of this group? So the reference helps distinguish between those candidates who have been nominated by academic departments, okay? So when you are applying for Gates Cambridge, the, your academic department can nominate you for the scholarship and you would be selected. And those who have not been nominated can also be selected based on other criteria, which is their statement and their reference. The referees are also asked how they rate the applicant for the scholarship, okay? Based on exceptional, strong, and not weak skills. And they, they have up to 4,000 characters in the online reference to upload a separate letter. Who should write the Gates Cambridge reference? Now they are telling you who should qualify as your referee. In this instance, it is essential that the Gates Cambridge referee is fully briefed about the Gates Cambridge scholarship, especially its selection criteria, and they can write the most appropriate reference for you. It is useful when referees use specific examples of how you meet. Ah! Hey guys, 
this scholarship organization, they, they want literally the same kind of things. Why am I saying this? They are asking that your referee uses the criteria, your referee uses examples to show how you meet. Remember when I always advise how to answer scholarship questions, that you should always use examples. Ah! These scholarship bodies should come and commission me to be reviewing scholarship application because ah, it's like I know these things. I think because I have read too many scholarship applications, that's why I literally know most of these things. It is useful when referees use examples. You need to ensure your Gates Cambridge referee understands the need to keep the reference focused on Gates Cambridge. Don't go and be writing here and there. Stick to the requirements, what they want to hear. Does this person fit? How do you think the person fits? How do you rank the pe You know? Which is why you must choose your referees carefully. You must be able to select a referee that is patient enough to write out the details that they require and a referee that can listen to you, somebody who knows you and is willing to go all out for you. That's the kind of person you should select, okay? You must ensure both academic and Gates Cambridge referees submit their references by the specified deadline. Oh, and this is the application. Okay, so we're going to just go straight to the last segment, how we select, and then we can proceed to bringing this video to a close. And let me know if, you're, if you will be open to applying to the Gates Cambridge Scholarship. Uh, the first step is the departmental nomination. And then there is interview, you know, 20 minute, 20 to 30 minutes interview. And they have even told you, they have even given a... They are even gi <sighs> English. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. They are even giving a breakdown as to what kind of questions they are going to give you at the interview. Okay, what do you know about Gates Cambridge academic and career plan? Final thoughts and questions, and it's just going to be about twenty to twenty-five minutes interview okay you will receive an email from gates cambridge confirming that your application has not been successful oh, you will find further information on our timeline page okay let us quickly go i think I, we have already done the timeline so they're saying that if you're not called for interview you will receive an email saying that you have not been successful i think that is everything that you need to know about the gates cambridge scholarship and, um, you know, I went through their scholars directory. I saw that they select a quite, uh, you know, diverse scholars in different fields, different countries, different uh, specialties. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you've gotten something out of it. Let me know if you're going to be applying for the Gates Cambridge Scholarship. And if you have watched this video to the end, it means that you would like my other video on five different scholarships for international students in the uk i'm going to link that video here so that you have options it might be that you've gone through this video and see that maybe you're not really qualified for the gates cambridge you have a couple of other options which i share in that other video so do well to watch that video after this particular video and let me know which of the scholarships you're going to be applying for i wish you guys the very best and i hope that you give me feedback when you progress on this journey and you come up with a successful outcome okay subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so like this video drop a comment and share this video with all the people you know this information will benefit i will catch you in that other video